Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Cancer. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. So somebody is here up high in this tower, um, possibly feeling alone, lonely, um, trying to get the lay of the land. Um, they can't see. They're in the dark. The moon is in front of them. Um, and so whatever this is makes them fearful and uh, is really you know, like pulling at their emotions, okay? Um, <clears throat> this has to do with an inner desire, something that is desired, but it's in sitting in the unknown, okay? And so we have the lantern uh, at the at the heart of the reading that's the central issue is that they are seeking uh, to find a way or to know the way uh, seeking uh, answers uh, for direction with something that is greatly desired um, it could be that um, I feel that what put them here in this position is the eel okay and the knife and uh this person here this king of wands i feel he is a repeating card and uh this is also the same person these three cards although it is the king of swords this king of swords and this king of wands both have something on their conscience so and this person would have uh, did something by surprise or that surprised you, even shocked you with this eel here. And you, at the point that you learned this, you may be wondering, what more can I do? So it's almost like uh, you've been putting a lot of effort into the relationship and it feels like... Um, it feels like was for nothing, you know, um, when this comes out. You feel like exhausted from trying. It feels like currently uh, because of something that came out that the, uh, the goal that you wished to achieve uh, is, it's like it's been put on a shelf and you're not sure if it is still within your reach or not. I feel like you're remembering a lot and I feel like so are they. They are, I feel like you're both remembering. I feel like whatever they did, they feel they feel really bad for it. It sits on their conscience. They're remembering. I feel like there was a fight about this. I see it here. That's what they're looking at. Um and uh somebody here got really angry. Words were said more than likely. Um and I feel like this is sitting on this person's uh, conscience. It's what they're looking at. It's what they're thinking. And um, they, they desire a new beginning. So both of you want this new beginning, although neither one of you uh, might realize it yet. So here we go again. So, somebody very close to you, somebody you have a connection with, uh, a secret came out. This is about the things that go on behind closed doors, you know, hidden things, secrets. Um, and so there's a decision uh, because of this, because of something that came out with somebody you are, uh, you have a connection with. Um, there's a decision to be made on that and you're seeking uh, guidance um, more, uh, more, answers um, before making this uh, decision. I feel like although this has happened um, and it feels like everything's just slipping away from you, you don't want this to end. And I don't think that, I don't believe that they do either because I see that they're going to return. It, it gets to the point, though, it's like it's brought to the point of, of no, no return, but there is a return. So it's like it's on the brink of no return, 
but then there is a return. That's how this is going to feel, this energy. And you may, uh, like, whatever happened, you never thought that was, you didn't expect it, that, that, you didn't see that one coming. And you feel, uh, you may feel literally stabbed in the back by this person. I feel like there have been other disappointments, um, not necessarily with this person though, but there have been other disappointments and, or, or maybe they were with this person and maybe this, this could be, feel like the last straw, you know, but, um, yeah, so there it is again, something happens suddenly. And this is what occupies your mind. Yeah, see, there's the, uh, look at that. There's the, the eel. He's up here. And he's also on this picture of belonging. So something came out that shocked you or surprised you that made you question, you know, if you still belong together or not. You know? And if, if what you really desired was still within reach or not. So here you are in the dark again. So this is, this is again, confirming that you are currently in the dark about this, um, living in the dark. Maybe, maybe this is how you felt. If you found out somebody was cheating, you may have felt like you, oh my God, I've been living in the dark. Why didn't I see that? You know, you, you could experience something like that, but this card can also speak to, um, it could speak to imagined things also. So you could be imagining the worst or they could be imagining the worst. Um, Somebody is remembering and we have that all over the board. Uh, we have it back here too. I feel like somebody would just like to turn the page on the past and make fresh new memories with you. This person here, yeah, who's got, you know, uh, a lot on their, on their mind, on their conscience. There they are, there. That, that's what it is. That's it exactly. That's it exactly. Because that's the same person, him and him. So they would just like to Put all of this behind you guys and start fresh and make fresh new memories together. There's regret over what they've lost. Regret over what they've done. There's a realization with these wildflowers. It's almost like a wake-up call, you know, as to what, what just happened. This and this can also uh, speak to uh, your person returning to you. Returning. Because what I see is somebody thinking about what they're going to say here. You see? Oh, yeah. Look at that. They're thinking about what they're going to say. They let you get away. You know, they let you slip away. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that. Woo. And there's been a pause and a break. But now, look at that. They're returning. There's movement. This is a card of, uh, of movement, okay? And this person intends to um, sweep you off your feet. There they are. A return. Okay, so, <laughs> wow. And I think uh, you may be surprised uh, by this sudden turnaround or change. Uh, in fortune and uh, change in your person. There's uh, something to celebrate here in the future. Oh my God, this is also the Six of Cups. I just realized that, but like it's a completely different deck, but still, you got the Six of Cups here, you have it here, and you have it here. Uh, and this is a return also. So, I mean, there's no question... 
There's no question in my mind, this is actually a return. This is somebody, look how they run home. They're returning home. Where to? A place they feel they belong. This is a card of belonging. Huh. And oh my God, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I'm not surprised at all to see this card. You know, so they're preparing to do this. You don't see this coming. Okay, but this person is preparing their speech, um, preparing what they're going to say to you to try to get you back. And they intend to do it because there's the movement. There's the return. Okay, the return is actually mentioned all over. But I mean, this is somebody who's returning after, uh, after a journey and they are seeking out your attention. Okay, they're seeking your attention here. There's something they want to tell you. Possibly even something that they would like um, uh, to make public also. So there could be some kind of public statement about you guys being back together or being a couple, you know. So, but anyway, there is a happy event coming for you. Something that's going to make you like really happy. And I don't think you're expecting it. And this is going to be a huge, huge change. A huge change. Uh, they, they just want to put this behind you guys. And they're going to make you a new promise. You're going to get a new promise with the Knight of Cups we saw over here. Okay, he's under here somewhere. <laughs> there he is. There's the apology. Uh, this person's going to try to get you back. That's what this card is also. And here they come after a pause, after a break, coming back uh, to try to win you back, to try to sweep you off your feet, wanting to return uh, to your arms. You know, that's what they're doing there. Look at you guys holding each other there. So... There's just no question in my mind, whoever this is for, your person, I know you're worried about it. I know you feel in the dark about it. But what I see, because I can see both sides of the coin, um, I see your side and I see their side. And I'm telling you, they're coming back. And they're coming back to apologize and to make you a new promise. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.